Wednesday night, another uh, episode of Proficiency Bonuses, Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, tonight we are continuing our ascent on in Firefinger, but before we uh, jump into what happened last time, uh, a couple of quick shout-outs. Uh, Team MZ, a uh, great support uh, community tool and just overall a uh, group of people, primarily based on Twitter. Uh, they do a lot to support small streamers like us. If you have interest or you're a small streamer and you want to give, check them out, uh, you can find them at Team MZ on Twitter with four M's. That's E-M-M-M-M-S-I-E. And uh, they actually just redid their logo today, which I saw from uh, the head, uh, the person in charge over there. And actually, I really like the new logo. So check them out on Twitter. It's uh, most interesting. Uh, another shout out to uh, Many Sided Die. They do a lot of uh, different things. One of my favorites is their compendium, uh, Lost Artifacts of Grey Gas. I mention it just about every week because I've got my a couple of the members of our group have items from there, and there are a couple of others that are maybe showing up in the near future. Uh, lastly, we're another shout out to uh, Nightshade Creations that do a lot of like dice trays, tr uh, Dish of Shame, things of that nature. Uh, basic D&D type themed uh, accessories that we are uh, our Friday night with my rear end and place my own order with them, but that'll know, come. <laughs> play your team so bad. <laughs> like, that's my next purchase. Uh... With that, uh, you will notice at the moment we are a little light in our game as, unfortunately, Dave is still uh, running into some, I don't want to say personal things, but has some uh, real world happening and will not be joining us this evening. Uh, Lennon should be here shortly, running a little late due to, uh, you know, life commitments, so to speak. <laughs> so uh, we will do our best to uh, carry on for this short while. I've got a... Uh, Sarah and Kaplan helping out, uh, controlling Malik and Quen for, uh, or this evening at least until Quen shows up, then Quen will take over and, uh, see how, see how this evening turns out. Uh, and as always, I tend to forget to do this, but I want to give a big shout and thank you to our producer, MG, who plays Lachlan on our Friday night stream, who's kind enough to help out where, uh, this lovely technological thing that I'm sitting in front of doesn't seem to like running the uh, broadcast software right now, so it'll be helping us out until uh, we can get this updated. <laughs> I most really like it. G, it's not working. Yeah, oh, yeah that G is a little. Yeah. G's a little funny to try to do with yeah. two hands, but. <laughs> so. Uh... As we jump into last week, as our team was continuing their uh, foray seeking Firefinger, uh, per their agreement with their guide, Azaka Stormfang, uh, they took their, took their time getting there, had a uh, couple little uh, minor issues to deal with, nothing too big, though. Un unfortunate turn of events led to a uh, hawk being very unfortunately dispatched. But as the group kept getting closer, they started finding bodies that deceased and were in some fairly rough shape. And as they started to look at them a little closer, realized they seemed to be getting a tossed and crashing to the ground through the tree canopy. They found their way into the uh, to the base of the tower, made their way up to the first floor, uh, the first entrance point by climbing up a ladder and ran into a group of wolf spiders wherein uh, Solana jumped down into the middle of their nest. Spiders. I don't know if it's spiders. You're a druid. It should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not with spiders. As you can hear our Druid's not overly a fan of them, but uh, nope, they managed to make fairly quick work of them and continued on their way up to the second level. And actually, once more, our druid taking point managed to sneak past a cave without really noticing, if I remember correctly, the large group of uh, hanging winged creatures on the ceiling. 
Uh, quick chat between a couple of the party members, though, decided that they could easily take out the uh, group of them. I managed to take them out and do a little uh, corpse retrieval. Found some uh, fun little trinkets on the corpse and then made, started to make their way up to the third floor, wherein uh, our party started to notice the wind really starting to pick up. And unfortunately, the only two who would have been affected by it, one had spider walk and the other made their save. So <laughs> we didn't get to see any entertainment from that. Oh, darn. <laughs> hey, I was looking forward to a free fall. Just blown off the cliff. We don't have to run with us. With, with that in mind, uh, I believe it's Melek has feather fall. Okay. So... So one of you, I gave uh, control of Melek for the evening. Keep that in mind as you are currently standing about 250 feet above the ground. Okay, did not know that was how far we were. Yeah, you have gone up quite a ways at this point. So help out our members who are here is, you know, I guess a little short staff so far. Uh, Digitio, nice to see you. Uh, joining us already this evening as we uh ended last week's session with an oh crap from solana <laughs> who had snuck forward and sort of turning her head a little bit around the corner proceeded to notice two rather large winged reptilian humanoids that they have uh, run into once or twice before back in Umbala when uh, thanks to some quick uh, spell slinging from Melek managed to convince two of them to turn on their friends which led to some minorly uncomfortable uh, cannibalism but everyone came out of it uh, seemed to be a-okay so with that we will dive a uh, Head first into this week's episode, and uh, Solana, I will say the table is yours, so to speak, as you are in the front at the moment, and you have seen these creatures, and at least as of the moment, it appears they have not yet seen you. Well, is there any way I can, like, stealthily whisper to Devine? Uh, you can definitely try. Okay. No, I'm just... Hey. Yipping dog, disadvantage. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, give Devin a, like, a... a serious. I'm not, I'm not twin. Like, do the huge arm movement. Like, big, like, up front, two of them. Birdies. Flapping. Devin, well, you know, nod, nod at you, sort of make a puzzled look, but she thinks she knows what you're trying to say. <laughs> okay, so I do a big question, like... Kill? Devin, you know, she thinks for a little bit. And then, you know, nods, yeah, uh, and she'll nod her head. Okay, bow and arrow? Or I can probably I can probably do something else like poison spray so we don't have to like freak out. Let me see how far poison is. Devin is not gonna tell you how to kill things. That's <laughs> true. Devin A will let me kill things. Just just do it do in style. One. Do it in style. <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like okay. It's only ten feet, so. No, I don't want to draw a shit. Now, you have a loaded fireball standing behind you. <laughs> Always ready to go off. <laughs> okay. I'm still gonna... Oh, yeah. I gotta move. So I'm gonna do a five-foot step. Oh, crap. There are more of them. Um, And do a poison spray. Like, in this direction. 
No, it's only 10 feet. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot poison, sp poison spray, you can be right up in front of them. It's a dexterity save. Okay. So uh, I'm... That's the only reason you would have to step out of contact from them is if you were doing a bow attack. I keep seeing more of them the more I move, and I'm very unhappy. <laughs> it's a simple solution to that. Okay, I look at Devon and I go, four of them? Sad face. <laughs> and then I just do poison spray. Like, oh, okay. Ooh. You said that's a ten feet. And that's a ten, free, ten foot cone, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we are Definitely so gonna have to. For me, I think it was just that and that. Uh, so five. Yeah, so you'll actually. Well, let me just move this guy a little bit. So we're looking at basically. Um, where is my line tool? There we go. So if we start here, we go. Basically, a cone like that. So yeah, oh. you will hit all oh, four right. of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to delete him. Fine. Okay, delete you. Okay, so we got to start making some saves here. Bam, so, bam, bam. Oh, great. There's something all the way over to my left, too. We're right eyes up in the map. So, we have... Fail. Save. Ooh. Fail. Fail. Alrighty then. So. As you, uh. Go ahead, and what I'll say is, uh, go ahead, click on your tokens, and go ahead and start uh, rolling me some initiative. As you know. Oh, okay. great. This is gonna be the world's. Hey, I'm not the lowest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we have... <laughs> this may go extremely oh. quickly. <laughs> wow, he died? All, three out of the four of them died in one shot as Solana just leans forward. And what does this look like, your poison spray? Okay. A fountain of green huh. icky stuff coming from my hand. As uh, we are going to... I'm not even going to roll for the other two. It is actually going to start with Melek. Okay. So Malik, Malik is, I, must, I must apologize. I have no idea how to play your character. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Melek has just watched Solana just arms forward and just spray a gout of poison into this room with no idea what's going on. Malik has a battle axe? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, Malik uh, picked it up at one point. I can't remember where you guys found it. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, he is at quite a ways back. So, and I'm not sure. He can see the one right in front of uh, Solana, but I'm not sure if that one's actually dead or not. With, uh, this one's alive, right? Yeah, the one that's right in front of Solana is still up and breathing. I don't know if he'd be able to hit it with anything, though. I think he would be too far back, but what do you say? Uh, it's up to you. I mean, uh, Malik has movement. Mm -hmm. Malik is able to walk past you and get closer if that's and what Malik wants to do. He's got a rapier, here, I think. Yeah, he's a battle axe and a crossbow that he could use. Yeah, crossbow, he'd probably have three quarters cover. He could take the shot, but it's, the AC is going to be a little higher to hit. All right, so if I move up here... Then you can pretty much get a clear shot. Then I got a better shot, and um, I'll oh, just God. do crossbow. Okay. Yeah. That'll definitely hit. Let's go ahead and roll some damage. Oh, 
okay as this thing lets out this hideous sounding, almost like a car or cry. Uh, it's still standing, but uh, Solana, you notice as you're basically right up in face to face with this thing, it has just blood pouring out of where the uh, crossbow bolt has buried itself in its shoulder. Okay. And I'm assuming that's it for uh, Malik? I think that'll be good enough for now. Okay, and that'll bring us over to Quen. Okay, Quen is going to move up here and then do a green flame blade. Hope I'm doing this right, Quen. Okay, so go ahead and roll an attack with uh, Quen typically uses bookmark. Oh, where, where's the, Okay, there's Okay, that'll definitely hit. So I'll go ahead and uh, roll your damage for bookmark. And then go ahead and roll uh, 1d8. Um, yeah, 1d8. Ooh. There we go. Hold it. <laughs> And with that, you watch as the fourth creature collapses with flames starting to lick up the front of its body as the four of you, uh, no, the four of them have been completely obliterated yeah. by the three of you. So congratulations, you are out of initiative. Yay! I'm going. And Devine once again did not get a turn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she's okay with that. Just point it out. Okay. Um, Devine's a commander. The commander doesn't need to attack. The commander needs to stand in the back and bark orders. <laughs> Make sure everybody else attacks efficiently. That's just very true. So, um, I guess that that eagle thing knows that we're here, so I can't stop to it. But so I'm gonna go talk to it though. Okay. So as you start uh, walking over, you see there is a uh, a very sort of beaten and worn male Aarakocra standing right. in front of you. I forgot the name of that. And he uh, is currently chained to the wall. <gasps> wrists, ankles, beak, all, well, I shouldn't say chained, all tied to the... Yeah. So ropes on the hands, on the ankles, ropes wrapped around the head and the beak, keeping the mouth shut. I and, go over and I free him. Righty then. Probably should have thought of the consequences before I <laughs> did that so boldly, but I free him. I said... Cut the binds and he's just sort of rubbing the wrists and the ankles and a little bit on his mouth. Are you, are you okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I've. I've uh, had me kept here for a while. What's your name? I am Nephir. Eagle dude. You're typing it out so I don't say eagle dude. Thank you! <laughs> How long do you think you've been here, Nephew? Uh, a few days a week. Oh man. I, was... um, I go into my pouch and I give him some jerky and um my water thing too. takes a little bit of the water from you and you know a couple of bites and coughs a little bit sort of clearing oh thank you it i was caught by them when i was on patrol from from kir sabal i need to return and you can see him sort of start flexing a little bit, moving his arms and his shoulders. Are you are you strong enough to fly? Yes, I'm 
strong enough to leave this place. Do you need some healing, or are you okay? Probably should uh, I, I will make do. Are you ascending to the peak? Yes. We are with uh. a woman that needs her family familial... Familial? Huh. Okay. Mask. <laughs> Uh, let's fit into her family, and, um, we are here to assist her. Azaka, come in! And I leave her to come in and meet this evil fellow. Uh, yeah, we'll assume that everyone's sort of, uh... Piled in. No, 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 no. Yeah, sort of piled in to a degree. Okay. Um, Azaka stand a little south, just sort of gives a somewhat curt nod, doesn't really say anything. Uh, you know, she's looking up and seems to be standing underneath another opening and just sort of looking up at it. Oh, okay. As uh, Nefier is sort of gazing and looks at the you and Devonay who seem to be right up in front to him and says, If you are continuing on your path to the, to the summit, mm -hmm. be warned. Mm -hmm. I know that there are at least eight of them that live on the summit. Okay. There may be yeah. more... Uh, they tend to send out patrols that will stop up there before coming into the lower floors to reside again. Okay. You're not going to be danger as you fly away? Hopefully not. It's... We shall see. I am not on patrol now. This is a mission to escape. If they have not bothered you on your ascent... Hopefully they should not bother me on my way out. Do you want me to help you with that? I can cast past without a trade. I think it's okay. uh, distance based. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see. 30. Just... Yeah, they have to be within 30 feet of me. Okay. Never mind. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. No worries. I, you will need your strength for what is to come, it seems. And where are you from again? Can we come visit you? Oh, but of course, you will always be welcome in Kursabal. You saved me. If you come, please make sure to, uh... Be sure to come and see me, and we shall petition Ashara to perform the Dance of the Seven Winds. That sounds awesome. It's part of a magical ritual that grants non-flying creatures, like yourselves, the ability to fly. Yeah. We will be there. With bells on. Right, Devonay? Yeah. Devonay, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I fear gives sort of another sort of curt, slightly shaky bow and uh Aww. she needs to start making his uh way out the uh cave the same way you guys came. Okay. I say good luck. We travel. <sighs> I'll meet our speed. You, well, actually, retcon that a little. <laughs> I just realized as uh, you guys have asked him this, as he starts to walk away, he looks at the two of you. Uh, you, I will spread words of your deeds today. What What are you all called? I, I don't we, do we have a band name yet? No, we don't have a band name. I'm Solana, though. Okay. And I'm Devonay. And, yes, I am Devonay. Uh, that one is Malik, and that, that one over Quen. there is Quen. Uh, so, I shall spread words of the deeds of you. Aw, thank among you. Among my kin in... in Gersabal, and let them know the service you have done for me. We'll take care now. Anytime. You as well. And as, uh... You guys watch as he goes, and, uh... As he gets to the outside, and Malik and Quen being a little back, Malik would notice this. As, uh... He sort of takes a very shallow jump off the side. And just disappears. Ooh. Okay, so right above Azaka, there's like. Oops! That was <laughs> not. I hopped over thinking that that was like connected. Oops. Uh, no worries. 
Should we, um... Okay, they would want to loot here. I, I couldn't care, but fine, we'll loot. I walk over to the other side. Oh, okay. So as you were uh, sort of looking around at this, uh, these four creatures, you again, you recognize the terror folk. For this, you're now getting a better look at them next to the firelight, not quite so nervous about them, uh, you know, rearing up and attacking. You realize that these are much older than the other ones you've run into. Oh. It appears that you have a... Uh, uh, yeah, basically. You you attacked the Terrafolk Geriatric Ward. Oh, no, I feel really bad. <laughs> so, uh, as you're sort of poking around and you've entered this smaller room that they were in, it's unbearably hot in here. Mm -hmm. There is no wind or breeze in this room. It is just... Stif almost smotheringly hot and smoky. Um, and as you're looking, uh, you see small totems sitting on the floor next to the bodies that, as they lay there. Would I know and, what they were? Because I have as you, them. As you pick one up and sort of look at it, it looks... Uh, go ahead and make, I'll say, uh, a medicine or a nature check. Mm. Uh, it's carved bone. Ooh. It looks like they basically, uh, whatever they were eating, oh, okay. when they were done eating it, they just started carving totems out of the remnants of the bone. Gross. Anyone want a bone totem? It would be like uh, old men whittling wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. These old men, though, they don't eat wood. They eat, you know, people. Yeah. <laughs> I drop it and kind of like wipe my hands, like, <laughs> my robes or leather, whatever I'm wearing. I'm like, okay, no one wants bone totems. Good, let's go. I hop back over. Okay. So um, as the group of you are sort of clustered as much as you can be around that little opening. I'm thinking, can we take a short rest so I can regain a couple of hit points? You can certainly try if you'd like to. Stephanie, what do you say about taking a short rest for a little while? Just so we can just, you know, unkink a few things. Uh, I'm doing alright. How long is that uh, spider climb going to last? Like an hour. <laughs> How long do we have left? If you take a short rest, it would be, the spell would be gone. Uh, the short rest, the the short rest is an hour, so. But I yeah. get the um, spell back, so. Like the spell slot back, because of natural reason. But... How sneaky are you feeling, Solana? <sighs> That's a loaded question, Devin, eh? How sneaky am I feeling? Um. Well, what I'm thinking is, you could climb up and poke your head up and see what's up there right now. Okay. And then climb back down, and depending on what's up there, can depend on whether you cast Spider Climb again later. But if you want to cast Spider Climb again later anyway, it's not really necessary to peek. No. I will peek. So I'll, I'll, um, no. Okay. So uh, what I need from you is then a stealth check and an athletics check. Ooh, oh, okay. So, easy enough, you managed to uh, jump up into the uh, chimney and well, start... Well, I've got um, spider climb, so I could climb up the wall or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You could just walk up and then sort of... The... Yeah, fair enough. I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. um, so, you managed to get yourself into the chimney and start the trek up. And it takes you a little while, because it's actually about 50 feet straight vertically Ooh. to the... From a... Uh, the entranceway of the chimney to get up to the top. Mm -hmm. Once you get up to the top and sort of start uh, sticking your head around, mm -hmm. go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay, so with that check, as you sort of poke your head up, trying not to be seen, as the chimney just opens up to a hole in the ground. 
And as you sort of crane your head and look around, you can see that there are at least six Terra folk in various points uh, sitting um, sitting up there. As you're sort of craning your head and looking, you notice the uh, top of this spire is uh, just completely flat. You know, a couple of rocks and pebbles, bushes, but it just flat as a standard road would be. Uh, the edges on the side are sort of crumbling away. You get the impression it would not be wise to stand anywhere near the edges to it. Um, vines and low brush seem to grow in uh, profusion and on different spots up there. And you see uh, as you're looking around where these the six that you've been able to see with that quick glance up uh, bones and scraps of meat from dozens if not more of meals are just scattered everywhere across the surface. Uh, immediately to the north of this uh, chimney, you see a crumbling stone tower that looks to rise another 30 feet up into the air. And then a roaring flame billows from the top of this tower, hovering just above it. Uh, tumbled debris from the tower is just heaped all around it, uh, surrounding the foundation of the tower. Um, you can see, uh, out of the six, uh, out of the six of them, you can see three of them are sitting due south of you, or uh, due south and slightly to the west from where the chimney is. And those three, uh, only reason they haven't noticed you, as you can see them currently, uh, ripping the last shreds of flesh off of a couple of fairly long bones. And where were the other three? North of me? Uh, the other three were a little further west. Okay, west. Yeah, so you've got three that are sort of south and slightly west, and then the other three are further west over on the far side of the platform. Okay. Alright, and north of me is the chimney. Okay, I got it. Alright, I climb back down, and I tell Devin, listen, there's six of them on this toe up above where the chimney hole leads out. And as of right now, three are to the west, three are to the southwest. They didn't seem to notice me, but there's it's this flat plateau, and then there's the ch chimney with like this giant flame on top of it. What do you want to do? Well, if you think they didn't notice you, then you know we could take our hour and have a nap. Um, the other question is, is there room for more than six? Could there be some there that you didn't see? Only if they were on the other side of the chimney. Okay, could, so there could be more than six. Would, would there be, Matthew, would there be enough ledge for them to have room? Uh, from, from where you popped up, you wouldn't know. Okay. Yeah, there could have been more. Okay, because Nefir said he saw eight at least, so... Okay. Yeah, they... Nefir told you he knows that eight actually reside up there. So you saw six of them. The other two could be, uh, on patrol you know, or out on patrol, out shopping. Could oh. be bringing back food for the elderly right now. You've got oh, no idea. Yeah. The elderly we just killed. Okay. So... Okay, if you want to go, that's okay with me. I understand. I think I think we have a little bit of time. Um, I think where we are right now, it's pretty defensible, as it's rather tight quarters here. Okay, how do you want to go to get up to everyone to get up to the second level, though? Do you want to cast Pass Without a Trace, and then we can all hop up through the hole, or...? That, that won't work, because I can only hop up through the hole with spider climb. And then throw down a rope, but then they'll notice me. Um, 
Well, I don't think Pets Without a Trace is completely necessary, as long as we don't take forever getting everybody up. But why don't we have a nap? I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and we can climb back up. Um, I don't... I'm pretty good. I don't need um, to recover anything, so I can keep an eye out, a watch. Okay. That is awesome. Ten. I was just like, it. well, I could have used like, but two thirty. Okay, I'm good. I was only gonna roll. Or two, but I only need the one. And if all else fails, once we get up there, I can turn into something and, you know, hold, try to restrain one of them, you know, as a snake or alligator. Yeah, I don't think anybody else needed anything from their short rest. No, it looks like Quen's at full health, too. Yeah, it looks like a, a Zaka took a little bit of a bump. But I don't know. Uh, Zaka doesn't have a hit die listed, so we're just gonna. She likes to shoot things, which puts her as like a rogue ranger type thing. So well, uh, do a, me a favor. She's a shape changer. Druids are D8. Oh, there we go. Uh, roll 1D8 plus con. Hey, not bad. Not bad. So. Zach like is feeling a little better. Not quite at 100%, but. Does she want me to heal her? Or is she. No, okay? she she's. Uh, trust me, she ain't that bad. Okay. <laughs> so, as you guys take a little bit of time. Uh, let's see. Here we're gonna go. How much is she done? Because actually, I can take cast healing word and get it right back with the with the um short rest thing I have in the natural recovery. Okay, so um, right. She's down decided. three. Uh, she's down three. Oh. Mechanically speaking, she has 117 hit points. Okay. I, she... I wouldn't be worried about the three no, she's No, I've got 53 <laughs> out of 55, so never mind. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast... So as... Do you want me to cast Spider Climb again, Davine, and try to get you all up with a rope? I think most of us are okay. I think Quen was having the most trouble. Oh. Can I cast? No, let me see if it's concentration. Let's better climb his concentration. Yeah, so I can't cast no more than one person. No. Should I turn into a giant spider and give spider climb to Quen? No? <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm reading a spell. <laughs> um... So, um, Melek can do Thunder Step, which is uh, 90 feet, but I'm not sure if it would work because I believe it's uh, see within range, so he wouldn't be able to see where he was going. Hmm. What if we brought them down here? Well, it's technically, uh, Melek could do it straight up. <laughs> fall back down and, again. <laughs> well, and basically ma try to make a save to catch at the top. Well, I was thinking of him um, teleporting with somebody else. And that and would just be two else, saves. And somebody else would actually probably be okay because they would land beside him five feet away Yeah. on the surface and then he might fall back down. Well, they could always uh, tie themselves to a rope. Yeah. What's the group doing? Do we really need to be stealthy, Solana? No. Do we really need to fight up there on the giant plateau? We could lure them in, kind of here, and filter them in, like like that movie 300. Did you see that one, Devide? Uh, what's a movie? Or a comic book by, by 
Frank. Oh, what's your name? That's gonna bother me. Well, the only problem here is that there are two entrances. The one that we're standing under and the one over there. So they could come from two sides. Um, there it, uh... <laughs> there we might... It sounds like we would have a lot more room to, uh, move around. But okay. so would they, right? But they would have room to fly. Would they have room to fly up there? Yeah, because it's on a plateau. Mm, maybe it is better to lure them down here. I was thinking. And what if we put a fire here, underneath the real chimney? Then they would know that something was up, but they couldn't come down because then they could burn by the fire. I guess? And as you two are talking, you just hear Azaka. <sighs> Fine, Azaka, what's your plan? <laughs> If you have any ideas, please let me know. Yeah. I thought we were just going up to kill them all and to claim my mask. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done, hun. You go up there first, then. Well, I'll no. climb up. No, how far away were first. they? No, and I, I, no, I was gonna, I was gonna shoot a fireball at them, and then I would climb back down and see if they come at us down here. Nope, Azaka has all the plans. Alana, don't be a stick in the mud. <sighs> I've been leading this entire time up this tower to get your stupid mask that I know is something weird about it. You're lying to us about the fan. So you Lana, go on. Lana, okay, fine, settle fine. down. <laughs> fine. We can do this later. Yoga breath. Okay. We all good? Yeah. Alright, so fireball? Okay. I don't know how you're gonna get up there. Do you want spider climb? I can just climb. Okay. Oh yeah, you gotta well... climb. I forgot. I'm not sure if I'd get down in a hurry again, but yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I'll take spider climb. Okay. That, that I would will, help me. I will touch that. her. I'll touch Devon and give Devon. All right, I am going to climb up and dig out my wand of fireballs. Okay, and are you going? trying to st and go stealthily up here, or are you just walking up? You should probably stealth. Uh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to stealth up. Okay, so go ahead and make a stealth check for me. Okay. Haven't been great on the oh. stealth rolls lately. <laughs> so as you start, uh, you've got spider climb, so... Uh, you walk up the wall, you know, a little ways across the ceiling, and then start up the chimney to make your 50-foot climb. And takes you a couple of seconds, and actually where you are going up, I'm going to shift you a little uh, up here for a moment. And as you sort of crane your head out of the uh, opening, you see... Actually, there seems to be more of them. One of them is sort of circling around the outside of the uh, of the tower, flying a little ways in the distance. And as you sort of poke your head up and look around, start getting ready with your wand, you notice directly south of you, the terror folk beside you is staring you in the face. And reaches out and is going to make two attacks. Uh, sorry, it's uh, one bite and two claw attacks as you're firing off this. As it seemed to hear you coming up there. So as your head pops up, where are you aiming this fireball? Mm. 
Well, 20 feet, so I can get four for sure. So I'm going to aim it for the four directly to the west of me. Yeah, I'm assuming like right in here? Yes. Oh, okay. So go ahead and uh, make your roll for that uh, fireball. While you're doing that, we will have this guy make his uh, couple of swipes at you. Wow. Really? <laughs> well, at least one of them will hit. So you take six slashing damage as this thing sees you coming up and just bites and starts swinging. And manages to catch you once as you're uh, firing off this uh, fireball. So I did cast it at level four. Four, which just means I use one extra charge of my wand. Yep. So this is a uh, total of 36. They have dexterity saves. Which they are actually okay at. Ooh. Makes it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. Three crits and one crit fail within four rolls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you are fine. You dead. You. Come on. You dead. You. Well, I won't say fine. You both take damage, but uh, so it's 36 halved. As these two let out a hideous scream as this massive fireball explodes onto the uh, top of this. And actually with this, one of them, as it blows up, the body is knocked off the back of the tower. And you just watch Devonay as it just drops and disappears as it starts to fall. And with that, I need everyone to go ahead and roll initiative. Ah. What's with today today? I'm glad I rolled high. Yeah. Uh, okay, now is for those of you down but no, oh, we're just finished getting these all rolled up here. You hear a massive echoing explosion, the sound coming in from both sides, the side and down the chimney towards you. And actually, um, Solana, based on where you're currently standing, mm -hmm. a couple of seconds after you hear the explosion and you sort of turn towards the entranceway, you watch the smoldering, still slightly burning body of a Terra Folk fall Yay! past the entranceway. And with that, we find ourselves... That is not the right one. There we go. That's what I was looking for. We find ourselves beginning our combat, and Azaka, seeing, uh, hearing this happening, and Nobody else moving is going to uh, make an athletics check and start trying to climb up the chimney after Devon A. And 
easily makes the uh, check and manages to climb up about halfway up the chimney. We're just going to stick Azaka sort of off to the side at the moment as uh, Azaka is halfway up the chimney trying to get up to uh, Devon A. Uh, this will bring us to our one of our remaining uh, terror folk who is going to uh, come running over beside uh, Devon A on this side and it much as its friend did take uh, a couple of attacks there, where you are now uh, flanked, it gets advantage on these Devon A. So we have one bite at 20, and 8 and a 19. I'm assuming the 8 and the 19 hit you, right? The 20 and the 19 do. Oh. <laughs> Good night, folks. I'm going to bed. <laughs> so that is uh, five. As this thing reaches down and bites into your arm and three slashing as one of its claws rakes across you as you move out of the way of the other. And that is going to end its turn. And that'll bring us over to uh, Quen, who is currently uh, down bottom with the uh, rest of you. Quen's going to hold his action until one of them sticks his head somewhere. Oh, okay. That'll bring us up to, uh, to and Quinn staying where Quinn is. Um, I'll put Quinn, uh, here. So in case it comes down the chimney, I can go to fire. Okay. Yeah. And that'll bring us to Devon a, then, who currently has uh, people on either side. And uh, Devon a, even though you are being sort of hassled on uh, either side of you, you can hear noise coming up from the bottom towards you. Well, this is interesting. Um, I am going to uh, dash back down, even though that means I'm going to take some more hits. Oh, past, okay. past the noise that's coming from my feet, because I'm still sort of half and half out of this thing. Yeah, you're basically just sort of propped your upper body out. So yeah, you can basically uh, get back down. It's going to be a little tight if you want to try to push your way past Azaka. You'll have to... Um, hmm. Well, because I have spider climb, I don't have to use... I can... I'm pretty nimble. Yeah. So... I yeah, just... but it's still it's still only a narrow chimney that you're climbing up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that you know, we'll make Azaka make this save. But first, you are going to take some uh, swipes here. Uh, so you are going to get... Uh, one is going to haul out and uh, take another bite at you, and one is going to take a swing with its javelin at you. So that is a Yay. epic miss on the bite. Good. Oh, and a definite hit on the javelin. So that is eight piercing damage as you start running down. And you just turn and start bolting down. One bites and misjudges. The other one, seeing that, pulls out the javelin, just drives it down into your back as you're running away. Uh, as you get to Azaka, who is in the process of trying to come up, uh, we're going to see if Azaka has the strength to hold on as you sort of brush past. Yep, nice. so it, it's a little bit of a fight for you to buy. You run into Azaka, and it's like running headfirst into a... But uh, you manage to sort of sneak around as Azaka looks at you with a little bit of disgust as you're running away. Azaka, that wasn't the doing? plan. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to wait for them to come down. Uh, um, no, when I get to the bottom um uh, it's 50 have... feet you're not you're not going to make it all the way or what's your I was movement gonna, speed? i was gonna dash oh you said dash that's right yeah so uh what's your movement speed 30. You 30 yeah so you'd be able to get 50 feet to the opening of the chimney and then basically like 10 feet towards coming down the wall on the side yeah so i'd move away from the opening just yeah oh, okay in either direction i guess just not right under it Okay. Yeah, I want to toy to fire. 
underneath the opening, but the Zaku went ahead and ruined that. Um, I will say, I will, as I go down, I will say, um, there were more than six, but, uh, apparently two of them got killed by the fireball. Yeah. So now there's still six, at least, I think. Maybe there was five? I don't know. I got hit in the head a couple times. Oh. Do you need healing? I I'm good for now, thanks. Okay. I guess that brings us over to Dragon Bait, who is still, uh, sent. Well, actually, you are now back down here. Where? Come on. Uh, she's now back, like, right now. Uh, we'll stick you over here. I actually, you may not be able to see. There we go. Um, so Zaka's halfway up. You're sort of off to the side. Um, Dragon Bait will just step forward and do the same thing. Quinn's and sort of hold an action to see if anybody comes down. Okay. Let's see. Who are we? Okay. Take off. Yeah, what's Malik doing? Uh, he's gonna hold an uh, crossbow uh, action as well. Okay, so and uh, where's he now? Uh, where's he looking at? Is he staying where he is? Is he moving? Yeah, he can see both entrances from the pair, so that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna actually just get rid of you because you're a body. Okay, so that person does that. And they're still doing that. Okay. Uh, go ahead, everyone, and make a perception. Oh, that's him? Oh, no, that was him. Oops. Sorry. Wrong sheet. No, I did it. Okay, so Quinn got a 17, I got a 24. Malik got a 22, I got a... Devin got a 6. You're muted. Okay, so, um... And who got the 22? Malik did. Okay, so Solana and Malik. Both start hearing... And this very grating, sort of screeching common. No! Wait! They're coming to us! Screamed out. No, we're not. And that brings us to Solana. Hey, Devony, should we light that fire underneath Zako, or do you think that she'll be fine? Uh, well... <sighs> she kind of ruined the plan. Yeah, she did. Um, I really want to get her killed, but... Yeah, it's her mask. This is true. If you want to light the fire, go for it, but... We should be watching both exits, too, so... So you like to... Oh, you can't. Alright, I'll step up here. I'll drew the craft to fire. And I'll, then I'll use my movement to uh, ready an action, too. Well, is Druid craft an action to cast, or is it a bonus? Do, 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 or I could produce flame, so they're on that. Oh, Druid cast is a... Action. Yeah, Druid craft is an action, and I think produce flame is as well. Bummer. So you can do either one. Now, here's the other question. What are you lighting on fire? You were not. Oh, know. we didn't set up Tinder over there. Yeah. Okay, she... forget that, Devin. I'm just gonna cover this entrance and um, hold an action. Do uh, spray we can wait to see what Isa Azaka does. Yeah. Okay, so, and uh, 
Sorry, so what are you readying? Poison spray. So, uh, oh, okay. Poison spray them if they come up this way. That brings us to this one. For you. That's you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. for somebody. Okay. So with that, as uh, you are there, all of a sudden, Solana, you see swooping past in front of the door, mm -hmm. literally diving down from diving down from in front. You see a terror folk appear. Okay. And as he's swimming by, so uh, you're holding a poison spray. He's not close enough because you're not within ten feet. Okay. But as he flies by, he chucks two javelins. Great. In at you. Nope. First one's a seven. Second oh, one's a seventeen. Okay. <laughs> And that is 10 oh, piercing damage. That's just what I recover. <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. As the, uh, as it flies by you and as it disappears down beneath your line of sight. Like him. And then... I'm gonna name that one Willy. And I'm gonna just... hit him with a arrow <laughs> Okay, and that brings us up to this one who is, I think, well out of range. Yeah. That'll bring us up to Azaka, who is now sort of in between the, uh, basically is in the middle of the chimney, but is not quite crazy enough to go up there on her own. So she just sort of drops, uh, climbs back down, drops down, looks up at the wall to you, Devonay. And says, "What are we doing? Are we not meant to be going up there?" We decided that we would wait for them to come down here, as we did not want to fall off the top. I suppose we shall see if they come down then. I suppose we shall. Move and light a fire and beneath you, woman. Uh, she can't. That's her. Full, she used her full movement going up. She used the full movement coming back down. Okay. Actually, no. For uh, argument's sake, to make life a little easier for you guys, we'll uh, say uh, she uses the dash action. The most she can get five feet out of the way. Okay. But there's still no kindling. Someone would have to have something they could use for kindling to build a fire. I do think I have a tinderbox, but uh, I'll dig around in my pack. I'll see what I can find. As that brings us up, these ones are waiting for you guys. Which brings us back to Quen and Quen Devonay and Dragonbait. Quen will join me over here, I guess, because um, got some range as well, you know. Okay. So he is going to hold fire wall. Right? Fireball. Right? Yep. Fireball? Yep. Oh, okay. You got a fireball. Um, now, and what's... Is Quen aiming to try to hit this creature as it's flying by, or is Quen aiming at the ground right at the ledge? Fireball has a fairly good range on it. Just so you know. So, so I should aim for the... I'll, I'll wait till someone pop, pokes his head by. And right, but are you shooting? So this thing is flying, as you've seen it, it's flown straight vertically past the cave opening. Oh. So I'll my question is, are you trying to shoot it? So when it appears, are you trying to have Quen hit the actual creature in midair? Or are you having Quen shoot it at the ground right in front of it so it blows up and hits it? Oh, um, I have no idea what would be more effective. Let's see. Huh. Oh, it's in a 20-foot radius. 
Yeah, it oh. needs to hit something. Okay, yeah, the ground. Oh, okay. The ground will make it a little harder for this thing to dump. Whereas if it's in midair, it's, you know... Right, right, right. Okay, matrix yeah. that shit. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got a fireball ready to the ground. And then that brings us over to Devin A, who is... He said, currently, uh, you were rifling through your bag to see if you had stuff you could light on fire? Well, what I was going to do was fire a fireball straight up. Because my spell card here says um, a point within range. So it doesn't point within air. Um, huh. Would that work? Well, let me like, take a look at fireball real quick. I'm not... This is what happens when you go control wizard and you don't use damage spells like this. You have no idea. To a point you choose. Oh. Yeah, it looks like you could center it anywhere you like. Uh, it doesn't say creature or object. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's why I was assuming with Quinn it would have to be on the ground because there's no hit roll, so you can't really target a creature. You just sort of fire it and hope it hits. But if somebody's flying by at high speed. Uh, yeah. I guess you could just point it out. Yeah, you guys would be able to point it out right at where the ladder is, like right over the lip where this thing flew by, or for Quen as well. So yeah, you could fire it up. Uh, how high up you shooting? Um, I want to fire it um, just so it's level with the top of the opening, because oh, okay. I remember that those creatures were sticking their noses right by me. So if they were still there, I might be able to hit them. So go ahead and. Uh... Go ahead and make your roll. And how many charges does your wand have left on it? After this one, uh, four. Okay. Is it on uh, reach charge? Yes. Uh, uh, awesome. If it doesn't get down to zero, right, it gets right. on zero, you have to make right. a roll. Not it shatters, but holy wow. Okay, so let's see here. Fail. 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 Nice. Ooh, even better. Okay. So as you hear some more cries uh, from up top. So does that mean Quinn could just like um, fire the fireball right there and make it like difficult terrain or something? Like if they wanted to go through, then they'd have to make their deck safe. Um, it doesn't last that long. It's not oh, like lighting okay. a fire. It okay. blows it's up and then fades. Okay, okay. And if it would hit you if he also put it there. Fair enough. Realistically, even if he, even if Quen aims it right off the ledge, it would still Salon is fifteen feet away. Oh really? I should move back probably. I'll have to see when, uh, when this guy goes past again, if it's Quinn or you turn him up first. Because <laughs> you know Quinn will fire it to make sure it hits him, not worry about anyone else. <laughs> oh. So with that, um, okay. So as you fire this up and blast, you hear a couple of more cries uh, come from up top. Um, unfortunately, though, you don't see... Anything other than those couple of quick shouts. You don't see anything. You hear a couple of quick shouts, and that's it. Well, at least they hit something. Good job, uh -oh. Jeffrey. That'll bring us back over to Dragon Bait. Once more, just look up and turn towards you, Devon looking for insight. Well, I just shrug my shoulders and Hopefully, somebody, something comes down eventually. And with that, uh, you're saying that Dragon Bait will hold his action. Okay. And that is more of the same up here. And that brings us to Malik. Uh, Malik is still going to be holding his, uh, crossbow. Oh, okay. Um, either from where Devon and Dragonbait and Zaka are, or backing up Solana and Quen. Depending on what happens yeah. first. 
see. So that brings us to. Oh. It's not bring us to you. Okay. And you. Okay, and that brings us down to Solana. I'm just gonna move back a little. From um, the 15 foot radius. And hold a bow of ensnaring thing. Oh, okay. So maybe if the thing comes down, you can snare it. Alrighty then. So she's going to say the bonus action now? Or what did that mean? Uh, okay. So let me... T um, oh, I can't remember and I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me. Um, so when you make the attack roll, if it hits, you can choose at that point to say the uh, word, if I remember. Oh, I should say on your... Word. Huh? I forget what word I picked. It was like some random word. Yeah, I'll have to go back. I remember we said it on stream, but... Um... I mean, what was my really random word that I picked? <laughs> okay, anyway. So uh, basically, you uh, make your roll, you uh, say your word, and then it has to make a save. If okay. Against it. So uh, you've got that held. So that brings us up to... The... These guys back up here again. Okay. So this one sort of cranes and looks uh, down the hole, and we're gonna just uh, we're gonna have it make just a uh, perception check. See, I can't see anybody down there. <laughs> I think okay. So as. This little friend comes uh, flying back up and chucks two more javelins in. Both you and Quen, go ahead and make your roll. Okay. So as it Quen... loses both of its javelins out at Quen this time, as Quen is in front. Okay. That's 21 and a 16 to Quen. Ooh, both at Quen? Yeah. Oh, they both hit. Okay. Um, what do you have more AC with? Would his green, green flame blade still be up, or is that uh, encounter based? No, that's an attack based. It's a round. Oh, okay, yeah. Six and, and five. five, so in a total of 11 points of damage to Quen. Okay. So then I go ahead and make uh, the attack roll for the uh, fireball. Okay, well, it's a DC save. Yep. So, uh, depending oh, on what the fire bolt and fireball. You want to do the oh. fireball. Okay. <laughs> Fireball does more damage, but they can save. Firebolt is a little weaker, okay. but it's an attack roll. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. That fails miserably. And then go ahead and make uh, your attack roll as well. Uh. Cool. This is all happening at the same time. And your shot just misses. Ah, uh, no. Unfortunately. But luckily, as Quinn has fired off the fireball, and you're watching and trained as it's flying up, and you lose where the body should be, as the fireball slams into it, it not only incinerates your arrow, but also knocks the body back down. And as it falls down the cliff once more, you lose sight of it as it falls over the edge. Yay! Good job, Quinn. Okay, and that and it's that one's turn. That's still going on. And that brings us back to Ozaka, who is just looking at you, definitely, as you're really the only one in the side her. I can be I mean, like, isn't this interesting? Smack her in the face. And then will look over. I'm having fun. <laughs> Azaka sort of leans over and stands underneath the uh, underneath the uh, chimney, looking up, and is going to ready a bow shot if anything sticks its head down. There you go. Right, sure. Brings us to that one. That's over there, and that brings us over to Quen. Quen is going to go, yay, that worked, and then um, but be sad that he got hit. And move over, move over slightly. 
go to London and get the next attack and ready, um... Let me see if he has any... I don't know what to do. I don't know what season he's in. You don't know what? I don't know what season he's in. Um, he's gonna ready a... A longbow as well. Oh, okay. Towards both entrances of, like, no. Okay, so that brings us over to, uh, Devon A, then. Thinking it through, Devon A's pretty sure there's at least one more flying around somewhere. Um, so she's going to stay put and... Um, oh, what is she going to do? She is going to ready a fire bolt. Okay. Do we have a fire bolt ready, a longbow ready, dragon baits readying a longsword because it's all he's got. Then we have up top. Okay, and that brings us over to Malik. I'm assuming Malik is still ready in action. Yeah, he would be. Okay. Cycles through our... Again. Uh, Solana, what's your plan? Alright, I'm gonna drop... Spider Climb on Devon A. Hey, uh, Devon, I need you to make a dexterity save for me as you were... I'm on the ground. Oh, yeah. you walked all the way down? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I assumed you stopped right on the ceiling. No. no. <laughs> I'm gonna go Devon, I'm gonna go be bait, okay? Um, you got enough hit points for that. <laughs> a few. So then I'm gonna cast Spider Climb on myself and, like, go here, but go, like, maybe... Can I do that? Just start and walk up the side. <laughs> okay, um... No, say, I won't uh, cast uh, Spider Climb yet. Can I recon that? Can I just move yeah. over there and... 10, 15, 20. Hang out on the ledge? Yes, yeah, so go ahead and I will say, uh... Make this a performance check, or... If you prefer a straight charisma check, you can do that as well. No charisma or performance. Hmm, that's a 601. As basically, you, uh, as you get back out onto the ledge and you start calling up, um, it's you can still feel the wind is picked up a little bit okay. from when you were climbing up before. You're not a hundred percent sure that they heard you as you were out there calling out at and calling up Adam. Okay, so was that like a bon free action? Eh, we'll call that a free action for you. Can I ready in just my bow in case I see something poke its head around the corner? Sure. Okay. That's it. Okay. Bring this back here. Okay. So with this, we have uh, all of a sudden, uh, Devine, you and Azaka both see a face peer down the chimney as two javelins get thrown down at uh, Zaka. And both you and Azaka go ahead and make your attack rolls. As these are, unfortunately, at disadvantage down at Azaka. First one's going to miss. So will the second. Uh, that will hit, though. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, Azaka's will not. Okay. So once more, you hear that same sort of guttural shriek as you've heard. But now, at this point, you see a large body collapse into the top of the chimney. You now no longer have visibility of the light coming down. Hmm. Seems like the body you just uh, blasted in the face is just sort of collapsed right on top. It is laying over the opening. And with that, where wait, are you? Oh, that's when you guys blasted. Okay. And Azaka sort of looks around at the 
two javelins on the ground. Well, someone can use them if they got them. Oh. It seems to be dark up there now. What do you think we do next? Looking at you, Davinay. Well, you can go see how Solana and Quinn are doing. Zaka just sort of nods at you. Uh, those ones are doing that. That brings us back over to Quen. Um, Quen, I'll be like, should we still shoot at them? Or are we going up? Or should we wait here? Because those are questions Solana has too. <laughs> It's not Devonay's turn yet. <laughs> Hold oh, okay. on. <laughs> well, it, you, Quen, and, De and Dragon Bait are all basically going within the same second. There's nobody in between you guys. So the three of you could have this ongoing conversation for a couple of seconds if you want to. Well, I'll say, Solana, have you gotten anybody's attention? Nope. Maybe, maybe you should climb up this side? This area's sort of been blocked off, as far as we can tell. Okay. Be careful, please. We'll do. Okay, so and this is going on, so Quen, I'm assuming, is just holding another action again, or...? Yeah, I'm gonna have Quen move up and hold another action. Oh, okay. And I'll say, cover me, Devonay! If you can. Devonay, what would your plan there. be? And um, that's, that's it for now. So as you guys have had this quick conversation, you hear Solana call out, cover me. So, just thinking about where the best place to stand would be. Right in front of... I don't want to stand in front of Quen. Devon would not want to stand in front of Quen. Just because. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Unless you want to spider walk Devon that I just dropped from you. Good planning, Solana. I try. And I can go up as a spider and we can, like, kill them. Well, Devonay will stand there. And the doctor um, can try to move the thing off the chimney if she wants. And then the other two can... Um, Quen can stay here in case something goes past, and Mela can stay there in case something comes down the chimney. And we can have the doctor go up the chimney and try to move the thing from it. And the both of us could go up the side. Only one of us can go up the side. Well, I can turn into a spider. But I'll oh, give right, I missed that part, sorry. Um, do we really... Well, we should somehow check out what's left up there. Exactly. Well, if you want to start climbing, then I can follow you. Okay. Um, it's not my turn, but... No, but I'm just thinking, would you able to be able to cast something on me where I'm at, or would I have to move closer? I think it's a touch spell, it's quite a fun. Okay. Well, that's a visual. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's a touch. It'd be able to move up, down. Okay, that's as far as I can move, so. Okay. That's where I'm at. Okay, I'll wait. So it... That is, we're flipping through dragon bait, still holding an action. Malik. Yeah. That brings us uh, cycling back through these guys who, uh, as you're not seeing them come down there, you're uh, both pretty sure that at least, as you heard one yell out, you know, wait, they're coming. You're pretty sure there's at least a couple still waiting. All right. So we should go after them, right, Kevin A? Let's go finish them off, Solana. Okay. So, 
I Zach, can start climbing up. <laughs> yeah, I too. Now we want you to. <laughs> and then I will turn into a... Doesn't matter. Anything that can climb. A giant wolf spider can climb. <laughs> And then she's still got 30 feet of movement, so she's going to turn into a spider and climb up. Okay. Start climbing up. I'm just trying to make sure her B-shape is a uh, bonus action. Ah, oh, no. Not as land. You're right. As yeah, so you can get it cast on uh, Devon A, but it'll be next turn before you can actually start climbing up. If you want, you can try to make an athletics check to start climbing. Can I cast B-shape in the air while I'm climbing? Yeah, it's, you, you're wise. literally you're trying to climb up the wall so yeah, it's okay. yeah. Oh yeah, you have, you manage to get, it's not as fast as you'd like because you're literally searching for handhold by handhold but you, uh, what's your movement? 35. Yeah, so you managed to get up, we'll say 20 feet. Okay, 20. A little more than halfway up climbing uh, Okay, gotcha. And then on your next turn if you want to you can uh, either save your shape and keep trying to climb at a slower rate or use your B shape and then you'll have the regular uh, movement of the uh, wolf spider. I got to look it up. Okay, that's okay. good. Okay, so that brings us to uh, this person who is still uh, is just looping. Okay, that brings us to Azaka who is Devin A, as you hear that, you hear uh, pretty much a Pretty decent, uh, like, excited shout from the background as Azaka starts uh, trying to climb back up and gets about halfway up the chimney again. That brings us around. Uh, okay. Uh, and you said Quen was staying down and uh, providing cover from where Quen is at the moment? Yep. Okay, so that brings us to uh, Devonay, who currently has Spider Climb. Yeah, I'll start uh, climbing up. Um, so I'm going to stay close to Solana just in case she falls and I'll have a catch a chance to catch her. Oh, okay. I do not want to uh, see Solana go splat. So um, just beside her or right above her, even though I would be climbing faster than her. Oh, okay. Not yeah, you managed to walk right up. Spider. So uh, you easily take a couple of steps out, just basically step out onto the wall and start walking up normally. Uh, as you're saying, you get about 20 feet. Uh, the two of you looking from where you are to where you're going, figure you have about another 30 or 40 feet to get to the uh, summit. Okay. Uh, go ahead and both of you uh, real quick make a uh, perception check for me. Everything looks clear. Hey. <laughs> I see Solana's face, and Zelda's like, Yeah, sure it does, asshole. <laughs> At least we know we got Azaka, sorta. <laughs> you got her halfway up. We're all halfway we are... up. Yeah. So uh, I just completely skipped over Solana for some reason. Oh. As, uh, so that brings us over as Melek's holding. I'm just bypassing Melek and Quen until you guys tell me you want them to do something because you've got them both doing actions down there with Dragon Bait. Okay. So that brings us back to uh, Solana, who you are currently clung to the side of the wall with Devonay beside you. Okay, I see Devonay. I'm going to turn to Spider now, okay? Go for it. And then I'm going to spider, climb into a... Climb into, turn into a giant wolf spider with climb of 40 feet. Oh, okay. And scurry up there. So from where you are, you could literally climb all the way up to the top. Yeah, I'll do. I'll I'll do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And just to make sure, do you have the uh, like attack stats and everything you need for the giant yeah. wolf spider? Yes, hey, I do. Awesome. I don't need to look that up. Okay. So for you, you're going to. Actually, you know, I'm just going to drag uh, Devonay with you. Okay. As I know, Devon is going to be following you momentarily, so we'll just stick her sort of out in limbo for the moment. Okay. Devon is out in the wilderness. And you managed to come up 
Uh, we'll say right here okay. next to these bushes in your giant spider form. But Devna, you're still uh, technically about 40 feet down from where it, uh, you just watched this uh, wolf spider Solana sort of crawl up and disappear right over top lip. Now that's your movement, Solana. You, uh, actually, no, Can that I would be your action because you turned. Stealthily, actually. Yeah, if you'd like to, go ahead and make a stealth, ch uh, stealth check as the spider. Yeah, it's the same as mine. Oh, okay. No, actually, it's plus seven. So let me do. How do I do that? Roll. Uh, slash roll, space one d twenty plus whatever. Let's do it in this. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, you're pretty confident nothing's seen you. Okay. And I'll just chill there on the edge. Oh, okay. That brings us to. You, which is still circling around. Um, from your uh, spot, Solana, you can see there is one, uh, these tire folk flying about 45 feet above this, just circling. Mm -hmm. That'll bring us over to uh, Zaka. Who has to make another uh, strength check to continue her climb. Okay. So Zaka's now made it to the top of the actual chimney itself. Mm -hmm. And is now going to uh, make... Actually, let me see if she has a bonus to uh, her athletics or anything that may help her out with this little... Uh, uh, no, no bonus to athletics, so she's mm. just going to make a straight strength check to try to move this uh, massive body off of the opening. Yeah. And actually manages to knock it just enough off that she will now have access to finish playing out. She's not out yet, but she's mm -hmm. just inside the opening. Okay. That'll bring us over to uh, this one. Okay, Quinn's still holding an action, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. uh, Daphne, that brings us to you, currently uh, clung to the side of a wall. All right, I'm <laughs> going to try to stealth yet again. And, oh, okay. Um, use a dash action to get all the way to the top. Okay, so go ahead and uh, make your stealth check. Okay. Well, that's better. You use your uh, dash action. You manage to uh, pull yourself up right up beside Solana. You're, you're not quite as on the ledge as the two of you look at this point, but uh, you both notice as you sort of pull yourselves up and scan over, uh, the edge is worn and crumbly. If you two didn't have this climb form, you would both be very concerned about falling off. You're that you're that close and sort of hunkered down in the bushes at the moment. Okay. At the moment, though, both of you, as you're looking around, you you don't feel like anything's seen you as of yet. But okay. So that brings us to Dragon Bait, who's holding an action. Uh, that brings us to here, which brings us you who is. Okay. There, where are you? Okay, so this one is still up in the air. This one is sort of flying around. Melix holding. Make that yellow line. Um, when you click on your token and you're dragging it to move, hit the space bar. And then every spot you want it to stop, just hit the space bar again, and it'll oh, add the little dots thank in your journey. You. I never Not a problem. Do that. And Devonay, you watch as Solana just free falls off the side of the no, map. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that brings us over to. Uh, well, I guess you guys can see now, so that one's dead. Okay, that one uh, hasn't. 
Uh, so, okay, that brings us to uh, Wolf Spider Solana. Yeah, it, I forget. Is this one flying above us? Yes, that one's about 45 feet in the air. All right, you I'm have that one's 45 one feet in the air. You. This one is sitting there. Um, as you're looking at this one, and you can see uh, this one looks a little different. Which one? And, uh, the one to the north of you sitting there. Okay. Um, okay. As you're looking at this one is, you see this has a, uh, as the head is sort of turning and you haven't moved, you're still sort of crouched in these bushes and its head's twisting back and forth. You can see a hideous long scar that begins at the top of its head and cuts down the right-hand side of the face, down across the chest and down below the right wing. Ooh. It's an old wound, but it it has a hideous looking scar cut across the front of it. Because its head constantly seems to be on a swivel looking around. Okay. Yeah. Go up oh, to the okay. sky. And I got a five foot bite read. Ash, you gotta get right on it and right next to him, but you can Oh really? I thought that it was five foot reach. So. Yeah, well, five foot means you're standing beside them. Oh. Ten foot okay. allows you to put the square in between you. That does not hit. No, that does not. Okay. But unfortunately, he notices you. Oh, okay. <laughs> as this spider comes out and as you lunge forward, for some reason, just as the fangs come out towards him, he sees something and manages to pull back a little and you see the face and the anger radiating off the mouth. Mm, I'm not going to last this spider very long. Just saying. And with that, as it knows out and it is now pointing down at you, this one that is currently flying above is going to dive bomb down at you. Oh, no. As it can't see... Uh, and it is going to make a strength attack and try to shove you off the cliff. Okay, as a spider. So okay. I need you to make a strength check against this terror. Oh, that's if uh, if it has uh, proficiency in athletics, you can use athletic. No, it's the same strength, Steve. Okay. It, well, it doesn't have proficiency in uh, athletics. Okay, so as this thing comes down and lands on the ground, both hands reaching and grabbing the, uh, basically we'll call it the front two legs to try to shove you off the side as <laughs> the little hideous pincer face things are flailing around at it. It's shoving, and for some reason, it does not manage to get you off the side. And that is going to Devin end having a heart attack over here. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, brings us to Azaka, who has finally dug her way out and is able to see um, actually everything. But uh, is this the first time, Solana, that you've wild shape? No, I've, I've done it before. She was an not alligator before, but... A sense Azaka's been in the party? I don't know if Azaka's seen you or not. Okay. So, Zaka is not quite sure what's going on with over here, mm -hmm. but is going to take a shot at each one of the uh, two terror folk over there, one at each one. Uh, one of them's got partial cover, but uh, first one, that'll hit. Hey. Uh, second one against Captain Scar, that will not. Bummer. So, uh, the first one at least takes a uh, takes a shot from her. And as uh, it's sitting there sort of uh, battling with you face to face, arrow sinks into the back and you hear it screech into your face as its head wails back, but it's still hands on you. Um, that one's dead. So that brings us to Quen, who's holding an action. And that brings us over to Devonay, who, uh, Devonay, you are now sort of crouched in a bush beside this one that's currently uh, hands on the uh, giant wolf spider that you know to be Solana trying to throw it off the side of the cliff. 
So it's um, in melee range now? Uh, for you, yeah. Well, I'd like to um, move uh, inland a little bit and then I will uh, dig out my sharps and pointies and <laughs> start like stabbing that. at it. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, make some old signs. Okay, so that'll definitely hit. Go ahead and roll some damage. Yay! Okay, it's still up. <laughs> that'll hit too. Yay! Oh, that one definitely hurts as you managed to cleave most of the way through its right wing. Nice. But it is still on its feet. It is All looking. right, one more. Oh. One more, come on. Yeah. Okay, that'll hit, so go ahead and roll some damage. Yeah. Okay, as you managed to carve down, coming the opposite way through that same right-hand side, I managed to split the wing clear off of this creature. Uh-huh. And into its rib cage as it collapses dead. Gross. Right, yet another one down. Um So we've had a couple of feet of movement. An attack, you've got a, probably got a little bit of movement left. Move to the center as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's that's it. As it brings us down to uh, Dragonbait, who is still uh, holding an action down there. That brings us to uh, over here. And um, go ahead for uh, you two up top, go ahead and make perception checks for me. Okay. So, uh, Daphne, you notice... Um, unfortunately, Solana, you do not. Circling around the, uh, fire at the top of the, uh, this chimney is another Terra Folk. This one about 50 or 60 feet above you guys. Just circling ar above the uh, chimney. Okay. And that brings us over to uh, this guy. So I need... Uh, what was Quen's held action? You said a longbow? Um, I believe that's what it was. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and make a longbow attack. As now, Quen has just seen one flying straight up the sheer face of the cliff. That'll hit. So go ahead and roll some damage. Nice. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Grab this guy. Oh, as this is coming clear up the sheer side of the cliff, it's going to take 10 damage from an excellently placed uh, shot. And it then... Solana, you notice as this creature comes rocketing right past you. Oops. What help if I were to bring him with us? As he's coming straight up the sheer face of the cliff beside you. And is going to make a javelin attack at you as he flies by. Uh, you are going to get a reactionary attack if you choose to take it. Yeah. That is uh, 14 against your uh, wolf spider. That hit? Yes, yeah, that hit. I'm not okay. very strong. That is eight piercing damage as okay. the uh, javelin sinks into the wolf spider. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And I think your attack for that was a uh, d20 plus three. Yeah, let me. Uh, nope. Stupid wolf nope. fighter. 
and does not have much luck, but they are flying very quick around you. Okay. Okay. That brings us over to this one that has been circling around. And Devon, uh, you notice as yet another one actually is flying around. And this one is actually comes up behind Azaka and is going to try to grapple Azaka and lift her off the ground. Oh, no. And that is a six. So I doubt this is going to work. Oh, so Azaka manages to just sort of shove the thing off to the side. And that will end its turn right next to her. That brings us over to uh, Malik, who is still sort of standing in the middle. Uh, Malik's still staying where uh, Malik is. Uh, he's going to move over towards uh, Quen. Um, okay. Seeing that things keep flying that direction and nothing seems to be coming down the hole. So yeah, right stands. now, unbeknownst to them, uh, Asaka is basically right in the open. <laughs> well, no, he's gone up, but she, he doesn't know if she's still plugging the hole or not. Yeah. So if he stands there, would he be able to like lean around the corner with his uh, crossbow? Or Yeah, we can say that uh, basically got sort of the head popped around, you know. So like James Bond holding a gun around the corner. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, he'll hold his crossbow action just in Oh, okay. Something else comes by. That brings us back over here. Okay, so that person is there. And that brings us over to uh, Scarface Rack, mm -hmm. who is uh, currently face to face with uh, Uslan and is going to once more looking down at you and. Just with anger, is going to make three attacks against you. I'm probably going to. Right. Yeah. We have uh, 13, yeah, 19, and 9. Okay. okay, so the bite is 7 piercing damage. All right, I'm out of. Uh, okay. So as he reaches down and sort of clamps the jaws onto the spider, and all of a sudden basically explodes back into, the, into Solana. Uh, it completely panics and just swipes out twice with the claws. Okay. Uh, once getting you for eight slashing. Okay. And that brings us to you. Okay. What am I going to do? Why can't I click on them? Why, do, why can't I click on my token? Uh, look on the uh, right, ha uh, left hand side. Are you on the ruler? No. Or the grab hand? Nope. You're on the mouse pointer? Yep. Weird. I can click on all my sheets and everything, but not my token. And the little mouse pointer's lit up blue? No, it's just a white now. No, I mean in the left hand side. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a little okay. blue. Oh, why don't we do this? We're running a little over when we normally take our break. Let's take a quick five or seven minute break so we can grab drinks and whatnot. And uh, Mr. Producer, back. if you can uh, bring us back, uh, bring us over to commercial. Thank you much for those of you who have been hanging out with us this evening. I'm going to take a quick couple of moments and we'll be right back.
Well, thank you very much for bearing with us, folks, and welcome back. I uh, want to take a quick shout out and say thanks to those of you who are joining around with me, uh, around with me, around with us this evening. Uh, Digitio, Blue Onx, Thronezilla, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us the, this evening and seeing uh, what happens with our finale to the uh, climate fire, uh, fire finger. Uh, we will jump right back into it with Solana. It is Europe, so to speak, and you are currently have one of these creatures offset just behind you and a rather large, hideously scarred one staring you in the face. That's why I'm going to summon Tom Petty, the Allosaurus. <laughs> Alrighty then. And with that, then we will go... Okay, and okay, so I have just given you access to Tom Petty's character sheet. <laughs> awesome. So, uh Go ahead and pull up the uh, character sheet. And, oh, whoa. I made a token. Hey. And go ahead and roll me some initiative for okay. Tom Petty, who is a large creature. Oh, he is large. I forgot about that. Okay. Yep. And this one is flying up in the air above. Initiative, initiative. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay, good so they're gonna cycle, and even though it uh, puts you, uh, oh, stuffed us back up the top. So there's action. Are you moving anywhere? You've got uh, basically two on either side of you, who, if you leave, they're both oh, gonna get attacks of opportunity. That's true. Can I five foot right here? Ah, uh, you can. You'll still take an attack from one of them, but. Because this guy right over here on the ledge is within melee for you. I'm moving all the dinosaurs. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, I'll stay on the ledge, and I will... Can't... Oh, yeah, Tom Petty has his own um, initiative. Yep. Okay, so um, I will just stay there. No, they're going to throw me off the ledge. I'm going to move here and... But, no, oh, okay. attack me. Crap. Yeah. So you're going to get uh, two javelin attacks coming That's at you fine. as you go to start That's walking fine. away I'm from them. Not fall off the ledge. Uh, first one is a nine. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, no, uh, would you be flanked? Yeah, they're both sort of across from you. So the first one's going to be a twenty, because oh, it would yeah. have advantage with the flanking. Yeah. And the second will be a ten. Okay. So I don't think that's going to hit. But that first one take eight piercing damage. Ooh, okay. Sorry, I then... forgot that it closed out everything when I. Oh, that's started. okay. <laughs> okay. And we're okay, okay so we're just going to uh, to front so we can see you. I should probably heal myself. Oh, there I can do go. that. I can take a bonus action and do healing words, right? Yeah, I believe healing words a bonus action. Yeah. Yay, five. Okay, that's Okay. Good. So that'll uh, bring us over to Azaka, who is dealing with... Tried to uh, pull her off the ledge. Yeah. So Thank he's you. going to take a... Uh, two swipes at it with her scimitar. Uh, both of those will hit. Nice. So that is uh, taking a couple of shots back there. That will bring us over to uh, Tom Petty. Okay, Tom Petty is going to, let's see what his... Is the one above us reachable? Uh, the one that's like on the map is due south of you, the one that's flying above yeah. you. Uh, not for either of you. He's okay. about 45 feet up in the air at the moment. Uh, the, at least 30 feet towards the No, he can't do that. Okay, so he's just going to attack the Scarface one. Okay, so go ahead and uh, make an attack. Okay, so you can make two attacks. A bite and a claw, right? 
Does that um, say in the bio see. and info? I'm sorry, I don't know how this works. Well, it's it'll say there. in what spell are you using for this? Oh, he's uh, summon. That's because some of them Conjure when you summon them. Don't... Okay, conjure. Some of them don't get access to their multi attack. I just want to make sure that your spell doesn't specify that. Okay. Because it should, if I remember correctly, say uh. Uh, you said conjure. Confuse, conjure, conjure animal. Uh, okay, friendly deer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no, it doesn't specify anything on that, so yeah. Bite if you told it to attack, it'll attack. Okay, I'm going to have make a bite one. Okay, so that'll hit. And then a claw. Okay, so both will hit. Yeah. Uh, Good job, Tom Petty. As you watch, as this thing seems to do a large bit of damage to this, this thing is still on its feet. Yeah. It's okay. looking like it's a little uh, cut up, but you get the impression, you know, that's why this one has a scar. It seems mm. to be a little more than uh, meets the eye. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got Quinn downstairs. Into a helicopter and fly <laughs> Heat seekers. Yes. Oh, we've got Quinn covering downstairs again. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Devin A, you have now just seen a massive red and brown Allosaurus appear in front of you and start attacking Scarface. Devin A is not surprised in the least. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you see another one on the edge that uh, took a swipe at Solana and one flying above your head. As well as one by Isaka. Yep. Not, not wanting for targets here. Um, I think I'm going to do a chromatic orb um, at the one uh, by Isaka. Oh, okay. Just go ahead and uh, make your attack roll. <laughs> That'll definitely hit, so go ahead and roll some damage for it. Okay. And I'm going to say it's fire damage, but... Okay. So as you hear this hideous sort of... As it pulls back from uh, the flame, but it is still, you know, wings flapping flame licking up. It looks like it's in rough shape, but it's still breathing. Anything else you're doing? Um, as a bonus action, I'm going to use my second wind. Okay. Oh, come on. Um, plus my level with is six, so that's an eight. Oh, okay. So let's see here. Okay, so that brings us over to a uh, dragon bait down below who is uh, given some to watch. So it's just a. Uh... You should probably climb into the hole. <laughs> I'm going to yell at him. Oh, okay. So we'll keep that in mind for a uh, next run and see how that uh, so that goes for him. Okay, so that's bringing us up to this one who's been circling around. And uh, to steal a line from uh, Devon A, it's not hurting for targets. So let's see. What's the blue thing in the corner? Uh, just, just for a marker for myself that he's flying. He's oh, up in the okay. So currently we have him, he is flying about 40 or 45 feet above you guys. Okay. So I am actually just, uh, actually, let me see if I can save myself a headache. Let's see if it is in here. So it does not. So give me just a moment. DM is having a uh, brain moment and needs to verify something real quick. Um... Uh, 
I know what it wants to do, I just don't know whether or not... Okay... Okay... Ah, so this is actually going to, uh... Coming over at Azaka and basically dive bomb down past you guys over to Azaka and is going to make a shove attack trying to push Azaka the like five and a half for seven feet to knock Azaka off the side of the tower. And it gets advantage on it because of the flanking for the attack roll. That's 12. We're working on it. Zaka's been doing uh, pretty good, though, so. Uh, and Azaka is holding her ground. Did we still need her. <laughs> <laughs> And as the sock is getting shoved by one, the one behind her is going to attempt to grapple again. Once more, trying to pull her off the ground. Uh, it's no advantage for a grapple, though. That's a 12. <laughs> and Azaka, again, trying to break through it. <gasps> Fails. Crap. Azaka is now being grappled. And as the two of you watch... This creature flies off about 30 feet up into the air, out oh, a little no. ways away from the uh, tower. And at the moment, that ends its turn, as it doesn't have an action. You're the reason we came to the damn tower. Come back. <laughs> so currently, these two are stuck like glue together. And that brings us to Malik, who is downstairs with Quen watching the front door. Come on, Malik. Uh, this one is flying over. This one is actually not stupid enough to go within range of uh, Tom Petty. So he's going to start uh, flapping the wings and is going to Huck off and get rid of two of its javelins, throwing them at Tom Petty. Okay. Uh, that is a 16 and it. a 12. Let me see if the 12 hit. No. The 16 okay. will hit. 16, so it takes 14 points of damage. The second javelin just sticks in the ground okay. down next to your feet, Solana. As this thing starts to fly and gets about 35, 40 feet up in the air, again, just holding where it was, but a little further up. Okay. Um, that brings us back over to Scarface, who is right next to uh, you and Tom Petty. Yeah. Is going to uh, sort of weasel around Tom Petty a little bit, you know, getting a little close to the edge and is going to make three attacks against you. As that is yep. a 20, a nope. 15, and a oh, 22. Yeah. So that is uh, 5 for the bite and 4 for the one claw that hits. Okay. As it rakes across you, as it seems somewhat preca uh, precariously uh, sort of clinging with its uh, clawed talons onto the side. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to be worried about falling off. Of course. <laughs> And that brings us to you. Okay, I'm going to uh, target this guy. Or should I target this guy? Which one? Which one looks rougher? Can I tell? Um, go ahead, and I'll say make a uh, make a perception check. Okay, out of all of them, um, you'd say the one that uh, threw the javelin at you and started to fly up and is about 35 feet up is probably looking in the roughest shape out of any of them. Okay, that'd be um, the fire, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. After right. him, 
the next closest you you want to assume is Scarface, mm-hmm. but you also know he's taken a whole boatload of damage and mm. it still seems to be somewhat okay. It's not like he's running away screaming. All right, I'm gonna scream "Kumbaya" as my new phrase from my bow of ensnaring. Like <laughs> the other one. You heard it here for, first, folks. That is canon. Kumbaya. I'm gonna hit. Hopefully. Oh my god, and that actually hits. Let's go ahead and roll some damage. Okay. And ensnaring strike. What does that do? Mm. You know it, um, let's see. I want to say that's a ranger ability. I knew it when I gave it to you. Yeah, it's a ranger ability. Um, target take has advantage on a strength strength saving throw. I didn't know that that uh, That's it? large creatures had advantage. But um appears and is otherwise restrained by magical vines until the spend spell ends. While oh, restrained okay. the target takes one D6 piercing at the start That's... of each turn. Okay. And what is your uh spell save DC? Uh, 15. Okay. So, it fails. Yeah. So this creature that was flying is now currently, uh... Oh, he was a padlock. <laughs> is now restrained and unable to fly. Ooh, does it take fall damage? Depends on whether or not it makes it save as it falls. Okay. All that distance, it's like 330 feet in the air. Oh my god, yeah. Much as is Azaka, who is currently oh, grappled. Yeah. Grapple it back! <laughs> by yeah. this creature. And she is literally going to uh, listen to you. Um, actually, you know what? Do me a favor, uh, Kaplan. Roll a d20 plus 3 for me. Okay. So at the moment, they are... Cl- uh, as she's trying to grab hold of this thing tighter, it's trying to, like, keep the hands off, and they're just sort of going back and forth like this commingled grappled monstrosity. Sounds fun. And that will uh, end Azaka's turn. And that will bring us to uh... (laughs) Oh my word, I forgot his name. Tom Petty. Tom Petty. I don't know why I want to say Ted Bundy. (laughs) Ooh, big difference. Big difference. <laughs> okay, um he's gonna take a five foot step and can he reach this dude? Um Who's at the now? moment no, because it's still like thirty five feet in the air, you just shot it and has it hit its turn to start falling. Okay. But he's All definitely right. still within range of Scarface. Okay. So he'll just chill there and take another swipe a couple swipes with Scarface. Oh, okay. Probably so hit. that'll hit. Oh, Go really? ahead. Yep. And that's 12, and then he'll claw, and that'll hit. And that'll hit. Very good. And with that, Scarface with the claw gets knocked off the side. Good job. And as you watch plummets down beneath the uh, to somewhere down in the distance. Yeah, Tom Petty! (laughs) And that will bring us over to Quen, who is still watching the front door. Yep. And that brings us to Devonay, who is seeing uh, Azaka currently uh, floating about I forgot put the blue dot over here. Like, 35 feet up in the air, but a good, like, five, uh, ten feet away from the edge.
and you have somebody right in front of you that is not currently got their back to you but is uh <laughs> they're, on, they're on the ground uh the one right in front of you was on the ground yeah it landed and it literally dove down with a two-hand shove into the back of azaka trying to knock her off the ledge and just epically failed um is this one this one's looking hurt or not a Go ahead and make a perception check. It doesn't look like it's had anything happen to it. That's a bad thought. Okay, I'm... That's the, my, what did I say before? My sharps and pointies? I think so. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to take another couple of slashes at that. Oh, okay. This Go ahead and... Uh, Make some swipes. Yeah. Okay, so 20 will definitely hit. Okay, it is still on its feet. Go ahead. Nice. Still on its feet. But it's getting hacked to pieces. Last one. Yeah, that plus seven is coming in handy. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, you do just enough to take it to the ground. Ooh. That, nice. that leaves us with only a couple of these guys left. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do. Um, okay. So you I'm, I'm staying where I'm at. Supposed to be. Okay. Dragon bait is still down there because I don't. Salon, did you ever call down to tell him to start coming up? Oh, oh my God, nobody I did. No. Okay. Yeah. So he I is still. Forgot. He is still uh, down there just watching. Uh, this one is going to keep flying higher and a little further away. Can they understand common? I forget. Yep. Okay. And then once more is going to try to make a strength check to drop Azaka mm -hmm. and knock Azaka off. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I had Devonay do it once. D20 plus three for me. Who, me? Yep. And Azaka is today. still managing to hold on as she is now about 70 feet above the uh, top of this tower. Okay. And again, about 10 or 15 feet away at this point, as this thing is just keep flying up and carrying her further off. I have an idea. I and do too, but we need to kill this other one first. No, I got an that idea. brings us to Melek downstairs. That brings us to this one that drops as it is currently... Uh, fully restrained and it okay. get uh does it get to remake the saving throw at the each turn yeah okay so as it drops uh it's full distance of 50 feet it's now beneath the uh ledge where you could see it uh it makes its strength save and what was your dc it was a 15 yeah yeah okay so as its turn is ended it's dropped beneath and as it's dropping a uh, slide, you can hear the rending and shredding of the vines. Mm -hmm. And you start to hear the powerful <laughs> of the wings starting to give flat. Okay. I got this one, Solana. <laughs> and that'll bring us back to you, Solana. Okay. I think I'm going to thorn whip. What do you think? I'm gonna thorn with this guy and move it ten feet closer. Um, yeah, sure, you can give it a go. And what's the range on thorn whip? Well, I was gonna move, but it's thirty feet, so it's he's seventy feet in the air. Oh, 70 feet in the air. Yeah, it's literally flying up and away at thirty-five feet a turn, getting higher oh, and higher. That's not good. Can you? Uh, oh, never mind. That wouldn't work. All right. 
I can conjure a flying animal. But we'd have to say goodbye to Tom Petty. And we'd have to say, get Freddie Mercury out here. That's what fine. Do you think? Okay. We only so, got one one left that we can see that we need to deal with immediately, so we're, okay. we're good. I'm going to summon one of those. Okay. So you're dropping concentration on the... Uh, yep. um, now, just to make sure... Um, what, uh, what level spell is this? Do you have a spell slot to cast it? I do. Okay. I've been keeping track of this. Okay, so... He disappears. Okay... And, uh, you know, we'll just... You are going to end up with a laundry list of flipping uh, dinosaurs. dinosaurs in your yeah. freaking character sheets, but awesome. it is easier for me to just give you access to the sheet. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. okay. So now uh, Queen is in your <laughs> is in your character sheet. Yeah. So uh, once you get the token on there... Uh... Right. Oh. What do you want me to do with Freddie Mercury now? Oh, first you gotta roll initiative, and then you can oh, give him right. that instruction as you summon him. Okay. Oh, not bad. Yeah, they got high initiatives, my dinosaurs, so that's good. Okay, so we're going to uh, reorganize our list here. Okay. So you summon uh, Freddy with your action. What's the uh, instruction you're giving? Uh, to um, Freddy? Drive attack, which is one of its abilities. Well, no, first, should, it has a fly of 80 feet. Go, go uh, catch Azaka. Go catch we, Azaka. We got this other one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be able to take off and start doing that on its initiative. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else? It's uh, so that's action on you. Uh, any movement or bonus action on your end? Um, ooh, I get to go to the middle because I don't want to fall off the edge <laughs> from this guy who's probably not happy with me. <laughs> yeah, move towards the middle, and that's it. Okay. So that will bring us over to Azaka. Who is uh, currently grappled by this guy? Huh. If you kill Azaka, the whole reason we're up the stupid tower. That's... I kind of liked her. Yeah, she and besides, we have even worse track record with guides. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me, it's a, but... Oh, you've got something at least you can tell you. I'll, I'll be honest, I expected Melek to <laughs> be somewhere in the area, but... Yeah. Or, I mean, or Quen. That's, uh, Melek's the person who can save in an instance like this, but... Oh, I could save... No, I can't. So let's I see, could, like, I'm just trying to look and see what... um. Well, Mercury is going to save her. Well, catch her, hopefully. Well, hopefully. Just like shot okay, yeah, it's literally all Azaka can do is keep trying to grapple this thing to make it harder for it to drop it. So, okay, we had uh, Sandu last one. Devin, roll another d20 plus three for me. Come on, Devin. Oh. These guys are not rolling well to get rid of this thing. By this thing, you mean Azaka? Uh, Azaka, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got Quen watching downstairs. Yes. Did I scream to Quen to come, mm. anyone to come upstairs yet? I forget. I keep forgetting. Uh, my no, to you do this. keep doing other things instead. <laughs> no one is shouting we'll down. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. fine. <laughs> gonna keep, okay. Keep patrol.
Okay, so that brings us over to Freddie Mercury. He was currently about, uh, let's see, ballpark. Uh, it just does not, if we don't have a 3D view. It's 45 feet to the side. So it's about, uh, I'd say about 115 or 120 feet from where, uh, actually, what we're going to do, let me. Uh, oh, do a um, vertical map. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, uh, what I'm going to do real quick is we're just going to delete that block that is around there. So you guys can see, and we're going to take these two, stick them way over here by where fire finger. Okay. Actually, we'll, we'll leave them a little closer. So they're basically somewhere like way up here. And for uh, argument's sake, we'll say Freddy... I know you guys have plans for him to go chase. We're just mis uh, aiming the sides a little. It's like down here. Okay. So we while these. I'm um, LOS, so I can't see how high the other guy is. Oh. Um... Yeah, the tower's in the way. Oh, the mind. tower. Eh, that makes sense. Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Here, I thought I was being all slick by just removing the. Uh... Um... There we go. Okay. Now yeah, so keep you. in mind, this is sort of a rough estimate. It's not designed for this exactly. Right. This thing's been going at, uh, actually, what's it? Fly speed? Uh, actually, it's fly speed's 50 feet a turn. <laughs> so this is uh, over 100 feet up at this point and about 20 feet away. Yeah, so Freddy's it's looking at Freddie's going to take a couple of turns to get over there. That's fine. Freddie can fly faster, though. Yeah, Freddy's got an 80-foot speed, awesome. uh, 80 foot speed. Yeah. Okay. So, Freddy, that's Freddy's turn, right? Uh, if you want, are you having Freddy just straight chase to try to catch? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know Freddy. where to place him. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say give or take. Again, It's uh, this is mostly going to be like theater of the mind for this aspect of it. Yeah. So basically, Freddy's about... Um, 40 feet away, okay. give or take a little bit from uh, this this thing that's flying away. Okay. And so that'll end uh, Freddy's turn here and bring us over to Devon A. I'm going to magic missile her. Um, magic yeah. missile who? Uh, the other flying... Uh... The one to your west? Yes. You'd have to move over to the edge. It's currently about 15, 20 feet below because it dropped when it was oh, paralyzed. It hasn't yeah. been able to fly back up yet. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um... Yeah, she walk over close enough to just get a little bit of a view down. Go ahead and uh, make your attack roll. If it's wingspan, gives you enough. You don't have to get right to the ledge to do it. Yeah, so. Okay, so as uh, these magical darts slam into its body again, you hear this, that same sort of muffled as it reels back from it, but it still looks to be on its feet. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, anything else you're doing on your turn? That's it. Okay. Dragon bait is still waiting. Uh, this one is now burning its full uh, movement, is flying back up, and is now literally diving straight at you, Devonay, as you are the last one struck it as it comes up over here and flies towards you. And it is going to uh, make three attacks against you. And that is a nine, a five, and a 17. Uh, the 17 hits. Okay. So you take five slashing damage. And as it did it, uh, because of the, uh, well, I'm going to call it a dive attack because that's what it's mechanically called. But as it was uh, flying towards you uh, beforehand, you are now frightened of this creature until the end of your next turn. A scary thing. That brings us to Malik, who is still uh, waiting downstairs. That brings us over to the uh, Terra folk, 
with Azaka in its arms that is going to fly a, uh, now going just straight horizontal trying to get away from Freddie Mercury is uh, flying 50 feet uh, straight out and is going to make another attempt to detach um, Azaka from it. So uh, I think Devon, made the last one. So Slaw, I'm going to jump back over to you for a D20 plus three for me. <laughs> uh, uh, Digitio, you are literally right. This thing is a freaking weeble. She's wobbling left and right, but she just will not fall down off this thing. So it is now about 90 feet away from a... Uh, Freddie Mercury, but almost on a flat, even tilt from it now. Okay. That'll bring us back over to Solana. I'm going to take a shot at this thing with my bow. Okay, well, it's on the ground right in front of you. Oh. It literally, it just dove right into a Devon A. Okay, I'm going to... Light it on fire. Alrighty then. Produce flame. Always a good option. Nope. Did not light it nope. on fire. I crit uh, uh Do me a favor. Go ahead and roll a uh, d8 for me. Oh no. I am going to light fire. Oops. I didn't even type that correctly. <laughs> no worries. I was going to see if... I... Okay, so let's see, you are there, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Devin A, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so um, sorry, Devin A. Devin, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, dexterity check for me. As Solana goes to Hoff and just wildly miss throws this uh, ball of flame. But you're fine. It misses. Sorry. You managed to pull out of the way as you're... You're on mute. You're on mute. Can you not hear me? Can anyone hear me? No, I can hear you. Yeah, no, you oh. can. Weird. It, yeah, I wasn't on mute. Oh. Um, so, uh, Devin, as you get freaked out by this winged creature that has just slammed its claw into you and start to recoil, all of a sudden you see a small little wisp of flame fly in front of your face as a somewhat uh, startled Solana saw this thing come charging up and it just goes wildly miscast in front of you. Oh, and I'm going to healing word again myself. Oh, look. Oh, okay. I keep rolling the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I can't throw Azaka to the ground no matter how hard I try. <laughs> mm, That's true. And okay. with that, uh, Zaka once more is desperately clinging on to this creature. So, um... Devonay, go ahead and make another uh, strength uh, throw for me, a d20 plus 3. Oh, no! Uh, this is just... It's trying to keep her from latching on. It still has okay. to It's not... Yeah, so, uh... Azaka has failed to grapple onto this thing. So now, as you guys are watching, as this thing is taking off into the distance, running away from Freddie Mercury. Azaka is no longer grabbed up to its body. Okay. It has now just got her grasped under, uh, literally by its feet talons, and she is just free hanging by its... At this point, it all it has to do is let go. There's no grapple or check required. Okay. And that brings us over to Quen. Oh, I keep to... telling them to come up the tunnel. Okay, Freddie Mercury is still flying He's over there. to catch. Yeah. So it's it it's so it was forty moved fifty. So now it's within ten feet. Still, oops, still a little out of range, but it's getting close. Okay. Yeah, as long as it can move no. under, <laughs> can it dive faster than a Zaka can fall? Hmm. We'll certainly find out. <laughs> I'm sure we will. <laughs> All 
All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, use my swords and uh, okay. see if I can kill this thing. Okay, Yay. so that'll hit. And that's enough to put that one down. Nice. So with that attack, you manage to take down the last one in your vicinity. There's just one more out there that is uh, uh. currently uh, flying somewhat away with uh, Azaka, technically going the other direction from you guys, but... <laughs> yeah. At this point, it's probably about... Oh, ballpark, if I had to guess, 150 feet away from you guys. Okay. Well, that's bad. Yeah, and I'll, I'll look over at Solana's like, well, I can't do anything to help her. Neither can I. Well, you are, but... I'm it's, trying. It's, uh... Out of her hands at the moment. And actually, and, um... Solana, did you take damage last turn? I can't remember. No. Wait. Okay, that's... No. That was, uh... Definitely you took it. Yeah, so you haven't taken any damage since you just summoned it, okay. And it doesn't say, um... I don't know, it's a... Uh, so at this point, it is literally just giving chase and following your instructions. Okay. And what, what did you exactly tell it to do? You tell it to give chase to the Terra folk? Yeah, and or go to... under and see the Zaka if she falls. Kind of. I see. Okay. Yeah, it catches Zaka. Catches Zaka. Okay, so we have uh, Dragon Bait. Okay, so this guy is now dead. Malik is still just standing around waiting. That brings us to this one. And literally as a free action is just letting go. Okay. And Azaka drops. Okay. And it is now turning and flying back at Freddy. Okay. And actually, Freddy's a large creature as well, right? Yeah. It is going to it's attempt huge. to grapple Freddy. It's a huge beast, it's... actually. Oh, Freddy's that huge? Freddy's huge. Okay. Uh, if that makes a difference. Um, I think huge is the next size up. Just check. As if it is, and it can still Dean, technically... Not Deanish, I'm sorry. I just meant to look at it. Let me see here. Come on. Okay. Really? Well, I would love that, but of course they don't give me the table. Okay, so for argument's sake, because I can't find it at the moment, actually, do we have a, uh... Give me a second, I'm looking for that size table, because I don't want to... Cheat, no, 251, I ah. want to make sure that I'm not telling this guy to do something that doesn't have the capability of doing for you. This thing is all about... Okay, large, yeah, huge is the next size up, so this thing has the ability to make the attempt. So I need a strength check from our Freddy Mercury. huge Freddy Mercury, and I'm going to bump him off so it matches. Mm. As this thing is uh, going to attempt to grapple him to sort of hold him present. And it is not enough, so it is currently in Freddie Mercury's face. 
And that will bring us to uh, your turn, Solana, as you have watched uh, this terror folk just let the feet go on Azaka, sort of windmill the arms. Okay, well, I can't do anything with that, but how far away are they again? Uh, about 120 feet, give or take. The longbow would still reach. Um, yeah, should be able to. Okay, I'm going to shoot at it. Okay, what's the range on the longbow? I just clicked to find out. Oh, okay. So it's 150 to 600. Okay, so go ahead and uh, roll damage. Okay. And as you uh, fire that off, that is in fact enough to hit and kill that creature. What? <laughs> It's, well it's, done. It's already been injured. Oh, yeah. It had two health left. <laughs> oh, and I yell, guys, come up here. <laughs> okay. Finally. The, that remember. brings us to Azaka. Who's falling. Who is still about 15 feet away, is now dropped. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Just trying to check, yeah. Okay. Okay. And of course this doesn't... Why does... I love you, Roll20, but some days you drive me nuts. Mm. Okay. I really should have looked this up before I decided to chuck somebody off a cliff. <laughs> I don't know what the maximum fall speed is, and then... Okay. Really? That doesn't... Okay, we're just going to roll it that it is... Um... Uh, we'll just roll it that it is the... I guess we'll say the fly speed of the creature. So she has dropped so from where they were. She drops. Uh, uh, so right now, uh, Azaka has dropped down a decent ways. Uh, Freddy can dive down, and you're trying to get Freddy to basically swoop under. Yeah. So that Azaka lands on Freddy's yep. back. Yep. Okay. So, uh, hmm, what sort of... Acrobatics? Like Bride and the Griffin? Uh, go ahead and let's have, uh, hmm, what the heck would Freddy make to try to do this? Oh, okay. Now, uh, Azaka's going to have to make one to basically stick the landing. Yeah. I'm trying to think, uh, what would Freddy, um... Three? Let's, uh, uh, no, uh, let's say Dexterity. Yeah, because it's more Ooh. trying to get underneath. I'm use my nat twenty on that. Can I do that? Uh, you can next time if you want to. You got to declare it before you roll. Okay. okay. So uh, Freddy gets down and is right there, but just misjudges a little bit and basically dives under and is a little wide. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna actually, you know, we're just gonna remove the turn order because it's this point it's now just they're further enough out that unless you're shooting at Azak or somebody yeah. it really falls down between these two okay so at this point Azaka falls another 50 feet down oh no Freddy's making the dive again to make the attempt should I let it, her die uh, not 20 please not 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is, uh... She, she uh, goes in for the... Freddie Mercury gets to, uh, right underneath the, uh... Right underneath Azaka and has everything lined up, uh, perfectly. And you guys watch. At this point, you're both pretty much... I'm assuming, uh, over at the end, your friends are starting to make their way up, but... It's only been 12 seconds. They're not all the way up yet. They're still trying to come up the tunnel. Yeah. Um, Asaka is going to try to stick the landing. 
see uh Azaka lands and as you watch lands just literally all four almost a, like a cat that you drop from two feet in the air just sort of lands on the ground but hits on all fours and then just flattens against the back of Freddy. That's amazing. As it's still a hundred foot drop and it is let's see what we're dealing with here. So it's oh okay. Hope she doesn't die now. Okay, good. I don't think she's dead. As she collapses onto the back of Freddy. You guys are officially out of initiative. Oh, thank goodness. As Freddy, uh, now 120 feet out, is just flying in space as it's completed the task you set for it. <sighs> Come back, Freddy. And as, uh, oops, as Freddy, uh, makes it, uh, makes his way back over with, uh, Azaka on his back. And sound, these guys are all gone. You managed to, uh, Eventually, we won't make them roll for all of it, but your rest of your uh, group members finally make their way up here. Okay, uh... Saka sort of hops down in front of the two of you. I look at her and say, Stopping this. And then I go over to Freddy, and I pet him vigorously, <laughs> and I good boy, <laughs> Uh, Devine and Solana, go ahead and make a, uh, perception check for me. <laughs> Devine, you don't notice anything? Solana, she looks a whole lot better than somebody who just fell a hundred feet and face planted on the back of a flying animal. Should look, you think. You can tell she's a little banged up, but you would have assumed a hundred foot fall would have, you know. I go to Davine and say, what's up with her? She's secretive. <laughs> I don't like it. Do you say this right in front of her? She's say, standing yeah. uh, right Solana, in front of her. Solana, she's right there. Uh... Yeah, I don't care. She's been lying to us this entire time. This what, last what is about different it? than something than just a mask. And we well, we do know she can turn into a tiger. Wait, what? So We do? Yes. I don't think I was don't there Don't you remember that. when we met? No, I wasn't there for that. I guess <laughs> I was there for that, but not me. <laughs> the point is... You were there because you were excited that she was a druid. Oh, yeah, she was a druid. But she's not really a druid. What are you? <laughs> I get in your face and I start putting. What are you? <laughs> Solana. I have Back no up. Weapon. She just sort of looks at you, Solana, be getting right up in front of her and she's, What I am is here for my mask. And now that we have dealt with these. I well, shall go and retrieve been, it. He would have been dead without Freddie Mercury, so you better thank him. She sort of cocks her head at you a little bit and then turns to the dinosaur. Thank you, sir, for saving me. Okay. That's all I want. And then turns and heads into this building. And, uh... 
you guys start hearing noises as you can tell things are being rummaged and ruffled through in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Devin will they'll follow her and Okay. Not really help, but just sort of observe and Okay, so as you look in, you see that there are a bunch of uh, moldy nests in there. And uh, along with the uh, old nests, you see four even moldier, sort of worn out and uh, messed up chests. Oh. As you watch, Azaka rummages through the first one, just sort of flipping her hand through. Goes back and forth, uh, flipping through the second, the third. I run doesn't... over and flip through the third. Okay. Um, as you get to the third, uh, you uh, find in it. Give me a second okay. here. Uh, you find a uh, four gemstones and a uh, rolled-up parchment of scroll that has a spell you're able to actually read this uh read what's on it it is a spell scroll of commune with nature oh and as you're looking through that you see azaka move from the second go over to the fourth chest open it and immediately you hear an intake of breath as she pulls out a uh something wrapped in a uh cloth and sort of Clutches it to her chest. Should have bypassed the third. Yeah. And she looks back at the two of you who are in the room with her and says, oh, "We came with. The, we received what I came for. Whatever else is in the others is yours to take. I have no desire for it." Okay. What's in the first two? So as or you go back items. over and you uh, check into the first two, uh, the first chest has two thousand copper pieces. And the second chest has 730 silver pieces. Are you putting that in the bag of holding? You're writing that in? Okay, good. So Devonay is going to stand in the doorway. Uh, so can we see what we helped you find? Okay, let me see if I have an. Uh... An image of it here that I can share. Do you know how much those four gemstones are worth? Uh, yes, 50 uh, gold pieces each. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see here. And... Show it to everyone! So. Cool! This is literally exactly what the mask is. I ask what it does. What does it do? Azaka looks at you a little funny and says, When worn, it allows uh, members of my family to uh, befriend animals a little easier. Cool. You could have just became a druid. I mean, that's a beautiful carving of the masked tiger thing. That's awesome. Wait a minute. She's sort of turns towards you, Devonay. Be- become a druid. Druids have an ability of sorts to uh, talk with animals, but sometimes it's a little limited. Ah. Or plants. Uh, at least she was plant. able to speak to that other thing to have it uh, save me. It was good thinking on her part. She takes a mask, sort of scrolls it away in her pouch. Uh, what does the plan from here? Oh, you are free to go unless you want to continue journeying with us. 
Oh, that would depend on where you're going and... What is your group's plan now? Hmm. Do you know anything else in the area? Anything that we should see or pay attention to? Hmm, in this area? Devine, uh. do you mind if I keep this commune with nature scroll? I don't have any use for it. Let me think here. Zaka sort of, you know, thinking off to herself for a little while. Uh, it's... I know initially your friends had spoken of wanting to return to Port Nianzaru for more supplies and things of yeah, that nature. That. Um, the only things I can think of in the uh, aren't really in the area, so to speak. Uh, there is F Fort Balurian further north of than Port Nianzaru. There's a Curse of All, as was mentioned by your friend earlier, but that is uh, further southeast. Uh, if you seek to return to Port Nianzaru, this would be the time to do it, as... We are pretty far north, you're, right? Yeah, you're, all other of your destinations are further south. You're advised of... Uh, Heading south to locate this city of or the your primary task for coming here, you said. Oh yeah, we you have to claim. do a primary task. But there are many other areas within the jungle that could be beneficial to seek out. Uh, numerous mines that provide ore to Port Nyanzaru. Uh, somewhere in the city there, uh, somewhere in the jungle. Which is another uh, interesting location. You never know, you may get back to the city and find you would rather seek another guide and part ways with me. Okay. Well, I say we go back to Point Leanne through. What do you think, Devon? Yeah, my vote is in that direction as well. We don't want to spend another week making bug dope, do we? No. I will rip my eyes out. <laughs> and ride Freddie Mercury far, far away. I'm sure the rest of the group would, uh, you know, maybe prefer to sleep on a tavern bed instead of in the jungle as well. I don't mind, mm. but sure. But that Malik will chime up a little bit. Hey, you know, I can perform for a couple of nights and get us the room for free. That's true. There is that. Okay. Well, first things first, we got to climb down from here. Well, uh, climb. Oh wait, Freddie Mercury can carry a couple people down at a time. And I could still spider climb down. Yeah. Unless so... you would rather camp here. I asked Kazaka, um, how safe is it right here? Well, it's... You seem to have killed quite a few of these creatures. Yes. I do not know if that was all of them or not. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, we could attempt to make camp here, but... There's always the possibility that... You know, More will come back. Mummy and Daddy could come home. Why don't we climb down, and then we camp? Uh, my vote is to camp either the level underneath us or all the way down and camp um, just in the edge of the jungle. I vote for that. The jungle? Yeah. I don't want anyone returning. So with that, our group makes their way back down. You guys don't have any problems making your way down. Um, what, actually, give me a second, because there are, uh, there are six of you, so give me a second. Riding Mercury could make a couple of tries. And I'll just walk down. Yeah. So I, uh, I don't think it's been an hour since we walked up. 
No, uh, it's not for you at this point. Okay. So what is the marching order as you guys are going down? I think uh, Freddy can carry a couple of hundred, uh, I think it's up to 500 pounds. I forgot how much. Yeah, so well, we'll round for three. And go ahead. Uh, so who's the first three that are going down? Um, I'll wait up here. So why don't we just have this group go down first? Okay, so our three, <laughs> our three non-combatants. Yeah. Okay, so uh, and give me an order for them. one, two, and three. Uh, Malik, Dragonbeat, Quinn. Okay, I need whoever has Quinn sheet to make a dexterity save for him. Oh no! As you guys are going back oh, down. Good. Proficient in dexterity. Good. Okay, let me just jump back over here. Okay, where is my, where is it? Okay, yeah, so Quen is fine. Okay, as, uh, once more as you guys are down past level two to level three, that wind starts to pick back up again. And uh, even with being on the back of Freddie Mercury, as you guys are going right down beside the tower to land in that little bit of a clearing. Um, it's still enough to put them at risk. Uh, Freddie Mercury comes uh, flying back up to the top. And are you spider walking? Spider climbing? Yeah, I'm, I'm spider climbing down. So as uh, comes back up to the top, that leaves only uh, Solana and Asaka up there alone. The best of friends. I say, I'm sorry I called you Zaka just sort of glances over at you. Huh. Maybe there is something more to you. Time will see. I glare daggers in the back of her skull. <laughs> Can't see. And with that, our group finds their uh, finds themselves down at the bottom of the uh, tower. It's about. It's probably just after uh, lunchtime because it. Uh, if I remember, you guys lunchtime? started up this thing in the. Uh, oh, oh no, yeah. you started we up at night. At you started at twilight. Yeah, that's right. You guys start up at night, not in the morning. So yeah, it is probably just after dawn then. Oh. So you have been working through the night. Well, I'm gonna sleep. So as you guys get down to the uh, bottom of the tower. Mm -hmm. Prepare to uh, decide what your plan is for today as a new day is upon you. Our, our cycles are going to be out of sync for a while, but that'll... Yeah, well, I'd say walk a couple hundred feet into the jungle and uh, make camp and have some naps. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we will call an end tonight's session with Digitio's phrase of I ship it. <laughs> oh. So congratulations, we have hit the point that people are shipping. <laughs> that is a big thumbs up and a plus to us, folks. So uh, thank you very much, everyone who uh, joined along Wait, with us today. I was too. Really? I missed that. <laughs> with the uh, giant. Oh, oh, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, before we disappear, uh, we have the uh, issue of our Nat 20 Tour Award this evening. So, I, granted, I we're a little... Last, <laughs> I had it last week. Give it to uh, Dominic. <laughs> this week, give it to Dominic. Get some good rolls. Fine, I'll you. take it. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, we've got to go into uh, Dominic. Dominic had a couple of key uh, key points today, so... Yeah. Definitely. Between the uh, walking away from the edge that Solana didn't do. <laughs> Coming up with the plan That's and then Azaka not listening. <laughs> yeah, that, that got me angry. <laughs> Which was fun anyway. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Azaka wants that mask. No, she For, you know, it. reasons. <laughs> so with that, uh, we have uh, Devin A getting the Nat 20 for next week. Uh, 
We'll be back again next Monday to uh, find out. It sounds like our party is heading back up towards Port Nianzaru, but once we have the rest of our party with us, who knows if that'll change or not. Who knows if that'll keep, yeah. So uh, thank you I'm again for... build up a collection of dinosaurs. Uh, it, it's beginning to start that way. You've already got two or three that are, you have access to the character sheets, so... Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, don't check out uh, Tomb of Annihilation. We're here every Monday, uh, 8 p.m. to right around 11, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Every Friday night, we have uh, Storm King's Thunder with our wonderful DM, Michael, who I'm lucky enough to be a player in his game. And then a friend of the show, um, actually from Friday night, uh, Christy, who plays Callista, is in another stream on Mondays. And I want to say it's 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, if I remember correctly. I think it's so. called Insight Check. Yep. You can find them there on Twitter. They're on uh, Twitch. Um, YouTube. Great homebrew, uh, great homebrew story that those guys are building over there. Uh, again, friends of the show. We love them. We've had a couple of them playing some of our one shots with uh, Jamie and Pyrite. And uh, oh, as I crack jokes and, try, and Christy... We're, I'm trying to get a collection. I want to collect the whole group of them. So, <laughs> uh, and with that, we will say uh, good night to everyone, and we'll see you next week. So, have a wonderful week, and don't forget whatever in life throws your way. Don't forget to add your proficiency bonus. <laughs> <laughs>